In this lesson, we will learn the basics ideas on how to find the volume of solid. To explain the basics, we will be using a rectangular solid, and a cylinder as examples. Now, consider this rectangle with the width of W centimeter, and the length of L centimeter. By now, we should know that the area, A, of this rectangle is W multiply L. Since we are multiplying two lengths with unit centimeter, the unit for the area will be square centimeter. Hence, the area of this rectangle is WL square centimeter. Next, let's change this rectangle into a rectangular solid. Observe that, this rectangular solid now have a width of W centimeter, length of L centimeter, and the height of H centimeter. Notice that, the solid is occupying certain amount of space, and the amount of space occupied is called volume, V. Now, to find the volume of this rectangular solid, we just need to multiply the area, A, with the height, H. Hence, by multiplying W, L, and H, we get the volume of this rectangular solid as WLH. Now, this volume WLH will only make sense, if we include the unit for it. Here's how. Since we are multiplying these three lengths with a unit centimeter together, the unit for this volume will be cubic centimeter. Hence, the volume of this rectangular solid will be WLH cubic centimeter. Next, let's find the volume of a cylinder. Consider this circle, with a radius r, inches. By now, we should know that the area, a, of this circle is pi r square. Since the radius is in inches, the unit for the area of this circle will be in square inch. Hence, the area of this circle is pi r square, square inch. Now, let's change the circle into a cylinder. After doing so, the cylinder has the radius of r, inches, and the height of h, inches. Notice that, the cylinder occupies certain amount of space. The amount of space occupied is the volume, v. To find this volume, we just need to multiply the area, a, with the height, h. Hence, multiplying pi r square with h gives, pi r square h. Now, this pi r square h only makes sense if we include the unit for it. Here's how. Since we are multiplying r square with h, notice that this is actually multiplying three lengths with a unit inch together. This will give the unit for this volume as cubic inch. Hence, the volume of this cylinder will be pi r square h cubic inch. That is all for this lesson. Try out the practice question to further your understanding.